How's it going everybody? Putting up my Xbox collection video here today. Uh, I got 32 games now. I picked up uh, quite a few, well, maybe about 8 or 9 over the past couple weeks. But I got the last one I wanted to get today and I'll take a break from picking up any for a little bit. Uh, the first 10 discs here are just disc only. I got them at GameStop I had mentioned in the past. They were 75% off but here's the first one, Panzer Dragoon Order possibly one of the best looking games on the system it's fun it's like a rail shooter like the other ones <clears throat> it looks good I never beat it when I originally had it <clears throat> because it does get a little tough at least for me but a uh, really cool game I may pick a few of these games here that are just disc I may try to pick up with manual in case uh, if I can get them cheap enough burnout 3 takedown it's probably my favorite of the burnout games Great soundtrack in this one. Crash mode still in this one. Uh, this is when EA took them over. The first two I think were published by Acclaim. And the EA, you can just see, like, people get on EA about stuff, but they do have good production values because the, the production in this game is like leaps and bounds ahead of the first two. Here's the thing. This is a really creepy game. <clears throat> I played this one back when it came out. I think, I believe it takes place like right after the uh, movie does. You gotta, you, have, like, you gotta control your squad, and they'll start like some of them will start like losing it, and you don't know who's the thing. You gotta try to keep them calm and stuff. It's really cool. A lot of cursing in this game. It's another good one. Kingdom Under Fire: The Crusaders. It's a strategy slash uh, Dynasty Warriors type game. You like put out all you know. You tell your units where to go and stuff, and you control one of the main person you're using. You bust stuff up. A really good looking game. It has like a metal soundtrack to it, which is pretty cool. When uh, you get into battle, you hear some heavy riffs. Definitely a fun game. I picked this one up here if you're into these kind of games. Good mission variation. It's pretty long. Like when you beat it with one person, you could play it again through with another uh, character and they have like a different campaign. Although some of the uh, battles will be the same, you're just on the opposite side. <clears throat> Cold Fear, I haven't played this one yet. Haven't played this one either. Curse the Eye of Isis. Looks pretty creepy though. It's got a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool artwork on the disc. State of Emergency. This is a really cool game. And I think it's uh, the federal government collapses and the corporation like takes over, and you, you're part of like uh, you use a couple different characters and you're like the resistance or whatever, and you just cause mayhem. And there's a cool arcade mode. Oh, cat just. Decided to jump in the way. There's a cool arcade mode too where you uh, just go around busting stuff up for points and you can use your own custom soundtracks, which is cool. Sniffing the games. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This is really cool. I had picked this up because I was on like a serious Buffy kick maybe like two years ago because they have it on Netflix. So, uh, I picked it up. It's actually really fun. Good, uh, good combat in this. It's, uh, I believe, the same people who did uh, Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb, which has similar combat, which is definitely cool. And the last disc one here is Blood Omen 2. This is one of my first, not this one, obviously, but this is maybe like the third game I had when I got the original Xbox. Cool game, definitely cool game. I love the Blood, uh, the Legacy of Kane's uh, games. This one's really cool. Use Kane obviously, and you get all types of cool powers throughout and stuff. Really fun game. Now on to the uh, complete games. Chronicles of Riddick has some kind of crap on it. I don't know what that is, <laughs> but uh, Chronicles of Riddick: Escape from Butcher Bay. Really cool game. Vin Diesel is the voice, of course. This is like his money. Well, I won't say his money maker, but this is like a, the character he's really known for. Really cool game, man. Still holds up graphically too, and uh, the hand-to-hand -hand combat's awesome. Between this and this and con the condemned games, best hand-to-hand -hand, uh, first-person combat in any games. Oh, here's one of my all-time favorites: Dead to Rights. This game is just pure action. You will kill thousands of enemies in this game. Uh, really unique boss fights. You just like start doing. You're, you're like going into slow motion, disarming guys. It just it just all starts to flow when you get used to the controls. Cool boss fights in this game. Like one, you're in a uh, you're in a gas chamber with this boxer, and he's got the gas mask on, and the gas is coming out. And you got to punch it off his face and put it on. 
This one where you gotta shoot the liquor bottle out of the dude's hand. When you fight the mayor, he's huge. They have to like jump on his back and tire him out. Really cool game. The best in the series. The one on the uh, 360 is pretty cool, but 2 is okay. But this one's the best by far, in my opinion, of course. <laughs> Another cool game, Deus Ex, Invisible War. I still gotta pick up Human Revolution. Little cool gadgets in this game and stuff. Cool story, you know, you make your choices on what you wanna do and stuff like that. You travel to a couple different places. It's definitely cool. I wanna get into this again because I haven't played it in a while. Oh shit. Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. I remember this isn't my original copy, but I remember when this came out. I think it was 02. I like wanted to get it and I had to go to a couple different places to find it. I was like drawn in. I put like 60 hours in and like got stuck on a typical fence. I like, got stuck on a fence and like auto saved. So I was like glitched into the fence. But I had no problem playing through it again. It's such a good game. <clears throat> Can't wait for Skyrim. His Fatal Frame, super creepy game. Between these, this series of games in the Silent Hills, absolutely the creepiest for me. You use a camera, you use this young girl and you use a camera. You gotta take pictures of the ghost to shoot them back and stuff. It's pretty cool. Never beat it when I originally had it, so I picked it up off of Glide for pretty cheap, actually. It was twelve fifty eight total. So, definitely gotta beat it this time. I may put up some gameplay of this one. Oops. Grabbed by the Ghoulies. <clears throat> this is a uh, this is a fun game. I put their video review up on it. Well, I put a review up in gameplay of it. Up of, uh, up of it. It's a really cool game. I don't know. It, people kind of it didn't get great reviews, but it, it was fun. I enjoyed it. I really did enjoy it. It looks really good too. Of course, it's a rare game. Even if rare games suck, they look good. Uh, here it is. This is the last one I got today. I got another. I've had owned this game like five times now. But uh, Halo Combat Evolved. This is still my favorite in the series, actually. You know, I'm gonna just rank them right now since I've played all of them except Halo Wars. This is the. This is my favorite. Followed by Reach, ODST. I, I'd have to put two pet I, I played three recently for the first time. I just wasn't digging it too much. It was good, but it couldn't compare to the other ones on the 360, in my opinion. But this one right here is... It's the best one, I think. It's great. Toughest one, too, on Legendary. I got this one at a garage sale like two weeks ago. Hitman Blood Money. Haven't played it. I'm pretty sure it was one of the last games to come out for the uh, Xbox. <clears throat> it's another great game. Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. Classic game. I remember I rented this when I first played it. From Blockbuster, beat it in seven days. I probably put like 25 hours into it. It's pretty long. You get to go to cool places and stuff. Pretty good platforming. The combat system's good. You get to search for treasure and stuff. Really fun. Legacy of Kane Defiance, another cool game. This game you use both Kane and Raziel. Raziel's from the Soul Raver games. <clears throat> Definitely cool. You gotta like fight the Elder God at the end and stuff. Haven't played it in a while. I beat it. My when I come out of three, so I can't. I don't remember much about it. I know you do kill Kane as Raziel at one point, <clears throat> and then he like goes down to the. He finds out that the God's like a giant squid. Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, cool hack and slash type game. Very fun. The Two Towers is cool too. I gotta pick that one up as well. Definitely, this is these are games. This one and the Two Towers are really fun. You play through them multiple times. <clears throat> it is a classic manhunt. This game is brutal in a good way. Plastic bags, baby. That's all I have to say. It's like. Oh, it is very violent, but it's a very good stealth game, too. And you got Brian Cox as Starkweather, the director, which is just great, because he's, like, so over the top. You can tell he's enjoying himself. Awesome game. I gotta put gameplay up of this, too. He is one of the sport games. Have not played it. Inside Pitch 2003. Need for Speed Underground. This is alright. I'm not too into driving games other than Burnout, like F-Zero. This is a couple more sport games here. NFL Fever 2002. NFL Head Coach. NHL 06. And NHL Rivals 2004. 
I haven't played any of them except NHL 6. Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, cool game. Like every every like room you go into is like a puzzle, it's awesome. And it all flows too, like with all the Prince of Persia games. Cool combat in this one as well. The disc unfortunately is pretty scratched up so it doesn't work that often, so I'm gonna have to get another copy of this. <clears throat> Shenmue 2. I never beat this. I had it when it came out, I never beat it. It's just such a it's an interesting game. It's uh it's 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 hard to describe. It's kinda like a, almost like a life simulation, like you're obviously trying to find out. Uh, who killed your father? I think it's the extension from the first one, I believe. And uh, you know, you just like do weird stuff. You like got to take jobs and stuff, like moving crates, and you could get little toys from uh, the machines and stuff. And there's like, w like the part I was up to when I stopped, I had to like go through a bunch of cassette tapes and like find out what a guy said. There's a lot of interesting stuff to do in this game. I can see why people wouldn't be into it, but I actually kind of enjoy it. Oh, creep, my creepiest game of all time, Silent Hill 2. One of my favorite games as well. Absolutely love this game. Got Pyramid Head in here for the first time before he's popped up in like everything else since. <laughs> yeah, they kind of like shoot, they, they, they kind of shoehorn him in now. I know he was in Homecoming. He was not in the one on the PSP though. <clears throat> and obviously he was in the movie. Creepy as hell game, man. This is a this is a great game. I love this game. I gotta put gameplay up for this too. And the last game here is Thief Deadly Shadows. This is a game I picked up, you know, back in the day, but uh, I, I didn't get too far in it because I would sell games constantly and not beat them. But it was, it was pretty cool, man. Very good stealth in this game. It's cool. You can like just jet in a room and do whatever you need to do and just leave without being seen. It's really cool doing that, but I may put up gameplay of this too. I gotta get into it as well. But, uh, that's all of them. I'll, I'll end up picking up some more. I'm gonna tell you, boy, you know, I bought a few, a, quite a few recently, so I'll lay off for now and, uh, pick, you know, go maybe in a month or two, pick up some more. I probably want to get my collection up to about 50 games. So, uh, not too many more, but <clears throat> thanks everybody for checking it out and have a good day.